Hey, it's Nisha and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vegetable lasagna in the Instant Pot. This is a recipe for my brand new cookbook, the Vegan Instant Pot Cookbook. You can pre-order your copy before June 18th and get some free bonus content. And if you're seeing this video after June 18th, you can still order your copy. You can find it on Amazon or wherever books are sold. And today I'm going to show you just exactly how you're going to make this lasagna and I'm going to start by chopping all the vegetables. The first part of this recipe is to chop up some onion and garlic which will flavor everything and then I'll chop up some mushrooms, red bell pepper and zucchini and those will be the vegetables that go into the filling. Then I'll make a homemade vegan cheese spread. The easiest way to cut an onion is to slice it vertically and then you're going to take your knife and run it this way and then it'll chop into individual little pieces. I find this is the easiest way to cut an onion. For the vegetable filling, I'm using a red bell pepper, zucchini, and some mushrooms. But if you don't like mushrooms or zucchini, you can easily swap in your favorite vegetable. For these mushrooms, I'm just going to rub off some of the dirt with a paper towel. And for all of these vegetables, the exact measurements are going to be in the recipe, which you can find in my cookbook. But I've also shared this recipe for my book for free on my blog at rainbowplantlife.com. And now I'm going to chop up these mushrooms. Again, a fine chop will work well. For my vegan lasagna, I'm going to make a homemade tofu cheese. It's incredibly simple. We're just going to put some of these ingredients into a food processor for about 30 seconds or a minute and everything will be done. But of course, if you want to save a little more time and effort, you can use store-bought vegan cheese. It's up to you. So the first step is I've got this block of extra firm tofu and tofu is really watery so you want to make sure you drain all of the excess water. Um, I wrap it in some paper towels. You don't have to press it like you would traditionally for like a full 20 or 30 minutes but make sure you get out all the water. I've already got out most of the water in here um, using paper towels or if you have clean kitchen towels you can use those as well. And I'm just going to directly crumble the tofu into the food processor. It's all going to blend up so you don't need to do it any specific way. For the rest of the ingredients in this cheese, we have nutritional yeast, which as you may know is a vegan superstar ingredient. It gives this a very cheesy mouthfeel and a lot of umami flavor. We've also got some garlic because garlic adds flavor to everything. And this is just roughly chopped garlic. It's all going to get pureed in here, so no need to mince it. This is a basil ricotta, so I've got some fresh basil leaves right here. No need to chop these. If you want to, you can, but I'm just going to add them whole right into the food processor. I've also got some miso paste. Miso paste is another vegan superstar ingredient. It's going to add that rich umami flavor, and I've got two tablespoons here. Also adding some lemon zest to give this a bright, fresh flavor, and then I'll also add some lemon juice at the end. I'm also adding some onion powder for a little bit of that onion kick and then some salt and pepper as well. Now for the lemon juice, I don't have a juicer or reamer today so I'm just going to squeeze it directly over my fingers which will pick up the seeds so they don't go into the cheese. All right, we've got everything in the food processor and now I'm just going to process it for like 30 seconds until it starts to come together and it's creamy. Now that we've got our veggies prepped, I'm going to saute them in the Instant Pot. You can saute them on the stove in a skillet if you prefer. Either way will work out just great and I'll season it with some salt and pepper as well. I've got the saute setting on the Instant Pot and I'm going to heat up some olive oil. Let it heat up for about a minute or two and then you'll add the veggies. I'm going to cook the onion first for a few minutes until it gets a little bit soft and then I'll add the rest of the vegetables. Now I'm going to add the rest of those vegetables, the zucchini, the red bell pepper and mushrooms as well as the garlic. I'm 
I've got some freshly chopped basil here. It's gonna add a little bit of extra flavor and freshness. And then I'll add some salt and pepper and we'll take this off the heat. Now I'm going to assemble the lasagna. And the first step is to take some marinara sauce. You can use any brand you like or homemade. And I'm gonna add it to a measuring cup and add some water to it. The reason I water out the marinara sauce is to make sure that it's thin enough to coat all of the noodles. I'm using no boil noodles, so you wanna ensure that they're evenly coated with the marinara. And you don't want it to be too thick or chunky or else the noodles won't cook fully through. I'm gonna start off by pouring about a half cup of marinara sauce into the bottom of a seven inch springform pan. A seven inch pan is gonna be small enough to fit into a six quart instant pot. And this has that clasp here, so it'll be really easy to assemble as well as uh, take out from the instant pot. So I've got these no boil lasagna noodles. Again, you don't have to cook the noodles before you put them in here, but you do wanna make sure they're covered evenly in all of the sauce, otherwise they won't cook through. And because this is a circular pan, not a rectangular pan, where I can just lay them flat, I can actually break them up into little pieces, and it's gonna fit around there like a mosaic. After you add the first layer of lasagna noodles, you're gonna add more of this marinara sauce, and then you'll add the cheese, the vegetables, and you'll repeat the layers. Now I've got this basil ricotta that we made earlier. I'm gonna use about a third of this on top of the sauce. It can be a little tricky to spread, so using a silicone spatula will help. I'm gonna add this vegetable filling directly on top of the basil ricotta. You'll use about half here and half at the next step. The other vegetable I'm using is some baby spinach, just, you know, because greens are good for you. And I'm gonna put those directly on top of the cooked vegetables. And our final step is to finish it with the last of the tofu ricotta. This can be a bit of a messy process. It's fine if it doesn't look perfect. I promise it will taste good. Our lasagna is assembled, so now I'm going to prepare the Instant Pot. This is what is called pot and pot cooking, where you cook a pot inside of another pot. In order to do this, you always have to put some water in the bottom of the inner pot of the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna pour in one and a half cups of water here. And then you usually put this pot on top of this steamer rack. This is the steamer rack, or it's also called the trivet, that comes with the Instant Pot. It has these handy handles. But to make it even easier to remove, I've made a sling just using some heavy duty aluminum foil. I talk about exactly how to do this in my cookbook, but it's very simple. To do this, I'm gonna lay the foil sling flat here. Then I'm gonna put the steamer rack here and then I will put the lasagna pot directly on here. And then I'm going to take another piece of foil that I've lightly sprayed with cooking spray or olive oil and uh, put it down here just to prevent it from sticking a bit. I've also wrapped the bottom in foil just because I'm a little paranoid and don't want to have any surprise leaks. And then I'm going to grab these handles and the foil sling and directly transfer it right into inner pot just like this. 
These handles are gonna come in handy when you're gonna remove this from the pot. It'll make it a lot easier. Secure the lid and then we're gonna pressure cook it at high pressure for 20 minutes. If you have an older Instant Pot, the pressure cook setting is just the manual setting. The lasagna is done as is, but if you want it to be extra cheesy, like I like it, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra vegan mozzarella just on top. It's a totally optional step, but it does get nice and browned under your broiler, so just something to think about. Okay, lasagna has been taken out of the broiler. Again, totally optional, but it does get the vegan cheese a little bit browned on top, which is nice. And now it's time to dig in. This lasagna is so creamy. I'm getting those notes from the basil, so it's got some freshness, I'm getting some lemon zest and lemon juice in there, so it nicely balances like the richness of the tofu ricotta, and it's got this really nice hearty tomato flavor that I love about lasagna. I hope you enjoyed this recipe for vegetable lasagna in the Instant Pot. Again, you can pre-order my cookbook before June 18th and get yourself some exciting free bonus content. Instructions how to do that are in the description box below. And if it's after June 18th, you can still order my cookbook and links for that are also below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.